It has been one strange week. As you guys already know, Russia began to invade Ukraine this week. This, of course, sent the markets in a panic. Yesterday, Bitcoin dropped to a low of $34,300. But then by the afternoon, it went up as high as $39,900. Over a $5,000 difference in a matter of hours. Volatility madness. So today we're gonna take a look at what we could possibly see over the weekend and we're going to look for some trade setups that can hopefully make us some money. So let's go ahead and dive into today's video. Now, before we jump into this video talking about the prices, I want to remind everyone that while the majority of us are here in our cozy homes worried about how this war affects our pockets, there are currently people out there fearing for their lives who might not see tomorrow. So if you or anyone that you know is out there in that area where the war is currently going on, you are definitely in my prayers and I hope that this gets settled quickly and safely for you and your family. So as you guys know, it has been an insane week of trading in the markets. The volatility has just been out of this world. I told you guys last week that it was pretty much a coin flip if you're trying to take trades in either direction because this is not driven by tech technical analysis or by any type of tools. This is all driven by the war and by the news. So every time that the news comes out or somebody speaks, it definitely affects the market in either direction, right? So when Putin spoke, it affected the market negatively and the market just tanked. And then when Biden spoke yesterday afternoon, the market went back up. Even though the war has continued and is ongoing for some reason today, the market just doesn't really care. And prices have remained where they are currently around that $39,000 area. So zooming out here to the weekly, you can see this trend line that has basically held us up here since we've dropped back down here. Same trend line that we touched back here back in June and July. And that's currently where we've been bouncing. Now, like I said, this is all news driven, but you know, technical analysis could potentially give you some ideas of where you could be buying, selling, where prices might be able to hold, things of that nature, basically. So as long as this holds up here, the bull market is still intact as you can see because we have higher highs and higher lows still so that's the main thing that we're watching here over the next few weeks to see if we keep this bull market structure intact if we don't then i would say at that point we're, we're basically going into probably a bear market possibly testing this bigger trend line here uh, which would be around that area. And that sits probably around that $25,000, $24,000 range. It would just depend at what point in time um, we would drop down to there. But this is basically the trend line that if you guys look all the way back, it's basically always held up here. So it's a pretty strong trend line. I think it's safe to say even during the previous bear market, when we dropped all the way down, that we the prices stayed above this trend line the entire time. You can see that the only times that it actually went below it here was when during the pandemic in March of 2020. Another thing people are talking about is a possible head and shoulders that's showing up here on the charts. It could definitely be a possibility, but right now I don't feel like the right shoulder is really set up enough yet to really call this a head and shoulders. Also, again, you know, the current setup is not really based on technicals. Everything that's currently going on is going to be news driven. So maybe down the road, this could play out. But at the moment, it's not something that I'm really putting too much weight onto. You can see on the daily time frame that same head and shoulder pattern, which is basically in line with the big support that we have here. So basically, if we lose this big support, we could definitely drop back down to retest these levels from June and July and maybe test this level down here, which is the really, really long term support that I was telling that I was showing you guys 
guys. So if it plays out, then that's what I would imagine. You know, we retest these levels down here, retest this down here. Now, if we zoom into the four hour chart here, which we spoke about last in last week's video as well, you'll see that this is a trend line that we were watching here. Remember, I said that as long as we're stuck below this, you know, I'm not looking for any long positions. And we did indeed break above it here. So now I am ready to potentially take some long position trades here. And that's what we're going to be covering next. So make sure to stay tuned for that. We're going to give you guys some trade setup on some potential long trades and some potential short trades. Now, of course, we're getting to that big whole number here right now. That's $40,000 that is going to act as a resistance. Remember before it was holding us up as a support and then we dropped below it. So what happens once we drop below it? Now it becomes the opposite, right? Now it's going to become a resistance. So if we get any type of good news, we could potentially finally push up back above that 40,000. But if there's any type of bad news anytime soon, any anytime this weekend, then you can definitely expect prices to, you know, get rejected there and drop back down, possibly retesting this area right here. It's probably going to be between 38 to $37,000. So those are the levels that we're going to keep in mind now when looking for some trade setups this weekend. Now, before I show you guys the trade setups that I'm going to be looking at for this weekend, make sure to smash that subscribe button. If you guys want to make money through trading or crypto passive income, or maybe you just want to stay up to date with the latest trends in the market, I upload a video almost every single day about these topics. So please smash that subscribe button so that you never miss another opportunity to make money in crypto. Now, in addition to that, I answer every single DM that I get on on Instagram and every single comment that I get on YouTube. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to drop them below in the comments. Also, I have a free Discord chat for the community that you can join with like-minded individuals. The link to that is in the description below. Now, I did a short video on this yesterday, but I just wanted to share with you guys what has historically happened during a war and post a war in the markets. You can see here that in the Vietnam War, even though we had a dip, we bounced right back up in the Gulf War. After the dip, market bounced back up. Afghanistan War, we had the dip, bounced up. Then we had another dip, but even though it doesn't show it in the chart here, the markets bounced right back up. Iraq War had the dip, continued up from there. The Crimean War, we've had, we had a sm pretty small dip and then just continued on up. And I believe that the Ukraine War is going to be the same thing. We've had this dip right now. It's a buying opportunity because in the long run, a year from now, we're going to look back at this moment in time and say, I wish I would have bought more because the prices will be a lot higher by then. All right, guys, so here are the trade setups that I'm going to be watching this weekend. Now, remember, like I told you last week, these are news driven events. I'm telling you again today, these are news driven events. And I got to say it over and over to make sure you guys understand that these are very, very risky trades because they can go in either direction. There's absolutely no way to predict them. The only thing that we can do is watch the important levels, basically the key levels on the chart and try to make the best decisions possible using those key levels now in my honest opinion i still think these are 50 50 shots but if you want some action if you want to take some trades just use way smaller position and risk than you normally do because guys it's better to be safe than sorry during these times you don't want to take a big loss for no reason so the first entry that i'm looking for here is going to be a break above forty thousand dollars now we already spoke about this 40k level right we said that it was support before way back there. It was a resistance before way over here. And if you keep going back in time, you'll see that level continues to get tested over and over again, multiple times over. So the reason that we use this level as a breakout entry is because look at this right here. The last time we broke above 40K, we took off all the way up to basically $45,000. So that is a major, major level and major play for us here if we're looking to take on a trade. Now, if we're looking for a short trade on the opposite side of that, 
you can still use the same number if you see prices go up above 40,000 and get rejected you could enter a short position at that point under forty thousand dollars so basically you want to see it go above and if you see the price is going right back down you want to enter basically a short position if it were to drop back down below forty thousand dollars what you would be trying to do is catch the rejection and trying to write it down right now if you don't have too much experience and know which which trade to take then I would recommend sticking to the long position here and not the short one. If you're looking for a short position, then I would probably say the safest bet right now would be under $38,000. That's basically where I would be setting my line here in this range so that if it broke below it, we could possibly retest $37,000, $36,000. Now, with all that being said, if you want to get my trades exactly which trades I'm taking with my exact trading plan in real time you need to get into my trading mentorship program in this group I share every single trade that I take every single day with my exact trading plan entry stop loss take profit all of it I teach you how to trade the right way how to trade with leverage using the right position size the right risk so that you never have to worry about blowing your trading account again in addition to that i also post crypto passive income opportunities nft projects and much much more now there are limited spots for this because there are so many people that want to get into it but there's only so many that i can work with at once so if you're interested go down to the link in the description below I'm telling you guys, crypto is a once in a generation opportunity to make money. You must take advantage of this right now. These opportunities will not last forever, I guarantee it. So please, if you guys are interested, sign up in the link in the description. If not, watch the next two videos that come up on the screens because those are the videos that YouTube thinks that you should watch next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one as always. Peace and love.